Why is the French city of Nantes flying the Nazi flag? Social media users are sharing images of the Grasland Theatre in Nantes draped in Nazi flags. Some of the posts include outlandish claims that the city is under occupation or invasion, while others cite a bizarre atmosphere there. Let's see what's going on. You may have seen some of these images going round on X. There's the infamous swastika on a red banner tumbling from the roof of the Grasland Theatre. Some of the photos show old-style cars, while others seemingly portray Nazi soldiers with the swastika covered. It's not AI, so you'd be forgiven for thinking it's something straight out of a historical drama. Well, that's because it is. Production company Rezo Productions has been filming its new fantasy series called Deep in Nantes. Set in 1941, the series tells the story of a newly occupied France which discovers that the Third Reich has developed a new type of submarine, but it's actually a time machine. There are various clues that prove the Nazi flags in Nantes were all part of a set. Check out some of the photos. You can clearly see camera crews, lights and cranes in some of the shots. A quick Google search will also show that the whole thing is being widely reported by French media. Some act as a warning so that people are aware of what's going on, while others report on citizens' reactions. For good measure, we got in contact with Nantes City Hall, who confirmed that there is indeed a shoot going on. The Nazi occupation is a firm part of Nantes history. During the Second World War, German troops entered and conquered the city in June 1940. Camps were set up around Nantes for prisoners of war, but the city also played host to small resistance groups. A key moment in the Nazi occupation of Nantes was the execution of 48 civilians in 1941 in retaliation for the assassination of German officer Karl Hotz. They are known as the 50 hostages because the Nazis originally planned to kill 50 of them. For more investigations and fact checks, check out our website, euronews.com.